Three boxes from Sarasota, Florida. You know what that means. They're for Gile. CGC, pretty sure this is 30 or more modern, well, modern era comics submission, which came back in less than three weeks. So we're gonna open them all today on the channel. Before we crack into these boxes, I think it's around 30 books, all in the modern submission, but it's going to be a surprise because I honestly don't remember what was in this and I tried not to look as it went through so we could kind of see it for the first time together. So there's probably gonna be a lot of different stuff in here, which will be fun. But I just want to talk to you guys for a second, do uh, a little bit of updating. The website is coming along. We now have Funkos. We have regular Funkos exclusives. We have Chases. We've started adding action figures to the Chaos Comic Store. We have some Fortnite sludge figures up. There'll be a lot more coming. And the process is just kind of uh, starting to go forward. The channel's growing. The Discord's starting to grow. Uh, and I've got a vlog coming up soon, kind of taking you guys for a ride on some spaces that we're looking at for the actual brick and mortar store. Should be fun. Got a lot of fun stuff happening. So hopefully you guys are along for the ride. Hopefully you enjoy the top 10 uh, weekly hottest comics and the trending comics and we're doing cool stuff like that. I think we did a uh, fantastic four most expensive, top 10 most expensive comics. Just a ton of different content. So hopefully you guys are enjoying get over to the Discord. That is literally the hub for everything Chaos Comics. And it's not just comics. I, some people say, I had somebody email me the other day and say, do you buy video games? We buy all collections, if, if, it's, if we can come up with a good deal. Video games, comics, sports cards, statues, busts, it doesn't matter. If it makes sense, we will entertain the offer and uh, most of that stuff will have eventually on the website and in the store as well. So come over if you're a collector, if you want to get into it, if you just want to chat, if you want to be part of a community, we would love to have you. Now we're going to open these up and see what surprises CGC has for us on these modern books. I was able to get them all on the table. It's pretty tight up here, but we'll make it work. And I think it's 30 to 33 books and it is a wide array. I do know uh, that there are 11 Wonder Man number ones in here. The 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 second run, not the OG OG old one, but the next one, the the spec book that everybody is is scrambling to get to to see what happens with Wonder Man if it's Henry Cavill, what's going to happen in the MCU all that. So, I know that's about a third of these, but everything else, I'm honestly I couldn't tell you and I tried to keep it a secret even to myself. So, we are going to get started and just go through these and see what we have. Here we go. A Punisher number 224. I just love the cover. Super, super clean book. I could give you some predictions on some of these, but I honestly don't remember on a lot of them, but I'm gonna try just to see as we go. And we are going to test the, uh, the myth or not myth about submitting a batch of one book. And everybody I've talked to or seen says you're going to get the same grade across it because they get kind of lazy with it. So we'll see if that happens with the Wonder Mans. All right, Punisher number 224. I think I thought it was a 9.4 or higher. So we'll see if I was right. 9.4 white pages. So I was right. We're gonna take them off the screen as we go. Just get them out of the way because we've got a lot of books to go through. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna take too much time. All right, check this out. A Darkhold Black Bolt number one just thought it was a really really cool cover thought it was a clean copy thought it would uh, would grade out okay 9.2 ouch wasn't quite expecting it to be that low but okay all right we're not we're not starting off on uh we're not starting off blazing we'll, we'll put it that way okay here we go Ghost Rider 2099, number one. Obviously, Ghost Rider is just spec across the board, joining the MCU. Uh, I mean, it's probably going to happen. We've got trading cards included, prismatic foil cover. Love the cover of this. Let's see what we got. A 9.6 white pages. I'll actually take that because these covers, they show so many nicks. So many nicks. I'll take a 9.6. All right, we haven't gotten a 9.8 yet. We have to get a 9.8 before this is over, right? Here we go. Hellstorm Prince of Lies number one. I actually got a couple of these in a in that big collection. If you saw it about a month ago, we bought a big collection that's been in the storage shed for 20 or 30 years. And there was a couple copies of this. It's just a really, really cool cover. 
parchment cover with red thermographic ink. We got a 9.8. Let's go. Okay. I'll take it. Our first 9.8 of the batch, and it's a Hellstorm number one. That's just a really, really cool book. I like that book a lot. All right. Next up. Doctor Strange number 44. It's a key. First appearance of Sidorak, Juggernaut, Galactus, Nova, and Silver Surfer appearance. Wasn't super, super crazy, but wanted to, to get one anyway. And we got a 9.2. Not really sure what I was expecting from that, but we'll take it. I mean, you'd rather have better than a 9.2 on anything modern, but it is what it is. We're not going to complain. We're going to move on and keep going. This was a really, really cool cover. Strange Academy number five. And uh, this is, hopefully you guys can see it. The, uh, what is that? Ancelotto? Ancelotto Virgin Edition. Very, very cool. Looks like my thumb's not covering it well. We got a 9.4. I'll go back and look at them and see kind of what, why, when, and where later on. But for the sake of the video, I don't want to take forever, so we're not going to do that. Okay, here we go. There are 11 of these being graded. So we're going to see if the trend holds true to what people say that you should not submit bulk amounts of the same book. And I did it, and I may regret it. We'll see. This is one of the biggest spec books for Wonder Man. I and mean, it's not the, the old version, but it's the number one that's obtainable for a lot of people. And this is a straight up investment for me and everything you see here will eventually either be on the website on our ebay store in a whatnot auction or in our brick and mortar on the wall once we open the store here we go wonder man number one we have 11 of these Ooh, that's not that's not a good sign that is not a good sign at all poster included all of them had the poster included but the first one being a 9.4 is not what we want to see especially if we're gonna go down the road of they're all the same let's find out moment of truth here's the next one okay it's a 9.6 maybe we'll work our way up i don't know next one can we get one 9.8 oh no oh no now i'm not gonna be a complainer but these were packed pretty good. They were pretty fresh in that collection, but then again, I mean, you just never know. I do see that corner right there. Oh, well, we've got them, so we'll see what happens. Check this out. This, this is cool, and I don't even know if there was, if there was any on the census. There was not a lot of these. Super unique. First appearance of barbed wire, silver, silver foil cover, special limited edition Dark Horse Comics, barbed wire number one you could only get this i'm pretty sure at that diamond convention this is this is rare there are not a lot on the census at all just thought it would be cool to have preserved i don't expect a 9.8 because you can see every blemish on this book i would say a 9.4 or 9.6 i will be happy with this it's just a cool book that you're not going to see uh, out there very often all right here we go i'll take a 9.6 all day on this we have another one we have a gold edition as well that's just cool super super rare not i don't know if it's it's not worth a lot but it's still pretty cool all right here we go moving on we've got wolverine number five unknown comic street level hero comic traders exclusive variant edition really cool cover 9.4 9.4 so i also want to say this was a modern batch that went with no press or cleaning now i have a huge batch coming back from my presser cleaner and i have another batch that's going to him and then i have another batch that's going straight to cgc so we're going to kind of get a mix of what it looks like grade wise for non-pressing and cleaning and some people say well, you should get them all pressed and clean i get that but also kind of want to get a vibe of, of how all this works with CGC on a massive level, massive scale. And then we'll kind of adjust as we go. So this whole batch, no pressing, no cleaning. I should have said that up front. 
and uh, the grades are kind of reflecting it. The, the next batch, well, I should have that big batch back from the presser. We'll send that off and see kind of how it goes as well. All right, next up. The Amazing Spider-Man Variant Edition. The Del Auto Variant Cover. Just really, really cool artwork there. 9.6. 9.6 white pages. I would have hoped that that would have been a 9.8, but when you have an all-black cover, well, you guys already know. Oh, so this is some more unique stuff. This is Dark Horse Comics, and I looked these up, and there's a fan base for this, especially if you get some high grades when it comes to John Byrne's next man. I know it's weird. You're like, what is this? Number 19. But these actually have some value, and there's not a lot of them on the census at all, so I thought, why not? We got a 9.6. I'll take that. A 9.6 white pages. I think I've got one or two more of those in there. And that's I know that's going to be a very select kind of group that would be buying those. All right, here's the other one. Comics Greatest World Division 13, number one, special limited edition. Once again, the gold, gold version of this, gold foil cover. I think you can only get these at that diamond uh, event. Oh, oh my. We got a 9.8. That is so hard with that cover too. It shows every single blemish. Let's go. That's cool. I'll have to check the census, but I want to go out on a limb and say there's the pop is super, super low or there may not be a pop until now. I'm not sure. I'll have to look, but that's pretty cool. We've got a book in here. I don't know why it was boxed by itself, so we're gonna save that for last and we'll continue on. We've probably got a lot of Wonder Mans over here, so let's just get them going and hopefully we pull out or squeak out a 9.8 or two. Here we go. Oh my God. It's not looking good for Wonder Man, guys. Definitely, definitely should have sent these off to the presser cleaner. I, I mean, they, they looked really good to me. I, I thought I was getting away with one like, oh, these are straight from storage going in. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're getting destroyed. We're absolutely getting destroyed. Not one 9.8 yet on the Wonder Man's, which is not good. We're just going to speed up because I'm just going to be depressed. 9.2. There must have been something wrong across the board with that batch. All right, we got a thick one here. We've got a thick one. Batman the Killing Joke. Here we go. This is the second printing, as you guys can see. Joker cripples Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, embossed cover. You know there's like nine variations, nine different colors, I think, of this. Really, really popular book. Really OG book. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's a thick book, too. I'd be happy, honestly, with a 9.2 or higher on this i really would I, I remember seeing some like flex and stuff you've got some issues right there so here we go okay that's kind of what i expected from that i'm not upset about that that's actually kind of where i was with that we got an eminem back cover i don't know what book this is i don't want to do any more wonder man i'm depressed wolverine patch number one just a cool cool cover i like it i wanted to get it graded 9.8 that's cool take any wolverine in a 9.8 right oh we've got to get one 9.8 wonder man we have to this was awesome this cover and this wasn't easy to find mercy number three the unknown comics edition the virgin variant i would absolutely love a 9.8 out of this book i would that's just so cool. Here we go. <sighs> the head drops. You can't see me, but the head drops. Okay, so uh, survey says probably send everything to presser and cleaner. It's kind of where we're we're going <laughs> with all of this. That's the vibe I'm getting so far. So just to let you guys know, I've got like I said a massive. Um, batch with him 30 something books a lot of old stuff flash superman should be coming back soon then it'll head off to cgc 
We have a 55 comic order with CGC right now, a bunch of classic old Superman, Flash, vintage stuff, some 1940s stuff that's already with CGC. And then we have another modern batch that I was gonna send, but I may just go ahead and send a presser and then, and then send on. That may just be how we do everything moving forward. We should have another five or six Wonder Mans too. I love this cover. This isn't a super, super high book. Firepower and Adam Smasher appearance, silver foil cover. I just, I love everything about the red. This is, this is probably a top 10 Iron Man cover for me. Just awesome, awesome to look at. Number 288, 9.6 white pages. That's just, that presents as well as any comic out there, if you ask me. Where are the rest of the Wonder Mans? Another Iron Man, this is number 300, the 64 page celebration and we do have war machine in this one as well um i seem to remember a lot of flaking on this book so i wouldn't be surprised at all if it's in the low nines it shows what i know it's odd i specifically remember this one being like oh this isn't going to be that great and it comes back a 9.6 but i got wonder man's that looked mint to me and they're coming back 9.2s it's strange that book the book's moving. Anyway, Fortnite X Marvel Zero War number one, uh, the mustard variant cover. Fortnite's hot no matter where you're at. You've got Spider-Man on it. You've got Wolverine on it. 9.8 would be sick in this one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if we get a 9.2, just slap me in the face and, and, and throw me, throw me on the ground. Throw me on the ground. All right, this is the Nakayama Virgin Edition A, What Not Exclusive. This is a beautiful book. I'm going to predict a 9.6 or higher, but obviously my predictions suck. So uh, let's see what we've got with X Gwen. 9.6. Okay, good. I was going to be very, very salty if that. <laughs> If that didn't come back, at least a 9.6. That's such a cool book. All right. So I think we've gotten, what, two or three 9.8s out of all these books so far? You watch. We get the pressers order back and send it off and get it. And it'll probably be, the ratios will probably be way, way better. All right. I think we're going to close out with Wonder Man, except for this. I don't even know what this book is here. Let's just continue to drown in our sorrows. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Maybe here's where it turns around. We got one. Now, I will say that they've been all over the board. So it's not uh, that myth of, oh, you stack 10 of com one comic, the guy's going to grade them all the same. Well, that's not true because we've got nine point. We've gotten literally 9.2s all the way to 9.8s. So uh, I don't know if that holds true to the Wonder Man test. Here we go. We've got another one. 9.6. We're just going to we're going to fly through these really quick. Oh, that's not Wonder Man. Silver Surfer Rebirth number one, Cast Castellini, Castellini variant cover, wraparound cover, so it goes around the whole end, number one varied edition, super cool book, would love a 9.6 or higher, let's freaking go, wraparound cover, Galactus on the back, 9.8, we'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it, let's get some more Wonder Man in there, one more 9.8, would it hurt him, would it hurt him to do that for me? Don't even want to talk about it. Don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> One 9.8. At least we got more 9.6s than any of the others. One 9.8 out of 11 Wonder Mans. I mean, that's it's my it's my doing. Should have sent them all off to get pressed and cleaned. I thought they were in pretty good shape. I, I thought they I, I thought I had the odds. I thought they were in good enough shape that I would get at least 40% of his 9.8s. I was completely wrong. I got one. So it's a lesson learned for me. All right, we've got one left. Let's see what this is. I don't want to spoil it. Is that the back? Okay, that's the back. So we'll cut it here. Try not to cut me. Sure. All right, here we go. Let me know which book you guys like the most. We did get some really cool stuff in there. That gold foil diamond 
Um, that was really cool. 9.6 on the barbed wire silver. Um, what else? That silver surfer 9.8. All of this will be available sooner or later. So uh, you guys are going to have a chance to get some pretty good deals if you want to get a Wonder Man number one in a decent grade. I mean, we've only got one 9.8, so it is what it is. All right, let's take it off screen so I don't I don't want to spoil it. Don't want to spoil it for me either because I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's an Amazing Spider-Man, number 239. Okay, oldest book. Well, maybe, the yeah, it's older than the Wonder Man. Yeah, definitely, 60 center. Um, it's got the Hobgoblin. I don't know what appearance that is of the Hobgoblin, but I just like the cover. So I wanted to get it graded. So here we go. Finale is 9.0. We did the Spider-Man cover on it. Go us. There it is. That's a cool book. I forgot I, that was even in the in the order. All right. 9.0. Do we have any details on it? First Spider-Man versus Hobgoblin battle. Madam Web appearance. Oh, I didn't realize that. Madam Web is in this. So there's that too. So it is a key. Very, very cool. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like. Like I said, all this will be available one day or another somewhere out there for Chaos Comics. Let me know what your favorite book was and I'll see you guys soon.